So today, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Totally different episode. Um, some people don't know how Jay and I met and all how every, all of this started. So we thought we'd talk about that a little bit. The um, genesis. Yes, the beginnings of the podcast and us and all mm -hmm. things. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dive right into it. Um, oh, let's see. We always argue about the date. You say November, I say December, but it was definitely I think it was December twenty twenty one. Uh, on the app Bigo, which I really don't recommend. Very messy app. <laughs> so uh, I'll start off. I'll right, give a little go. precursor. So I was looking for extra ways to make money. And I was watching this Vlad TV interview with, I think it was Young Turk. He did an interview and he was saying how he was on Beagle and he was making extra money. And I'm like, what Beagle? So I downloaded, try it out. And in case you don't know what Beagle is, it's an app where you go on, people broadcast and people send you gifts and beans, which is money that you can convert and cash out. Right. So I went on Beagle to try to make a little extra money and I would go live every day, you know, just to, uh, you know, have people send me gifts and this and that. And mm -hmm. that's where I met. Pooch. And I was L at the time because I didn't want to put my name on this app. Now, I was on there because I, well, I also, I like, I wanted to do a podcast. I like the idea of it. So I happened to randomly pop into one of his lives like one morning, super early. It was like 6.30 in the morning or something. I think he was on his way to work. He used to do his lives in the car a lot. Um, anyways, and so I'm like, oh, I'm like, this guy actually, because there's a lot of stuff on Bigo that is just garbage. I'm going to be honest with you, but there's a few people on there, you know, actually giving out, you know, decent information. There's some good shows. And so I'm listening to him talk and I'm like, oh, and he was promoting his podcast that he was, he was on a panel of men's point of view. And he's like, oh, come check it out. Da, 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 all the things, right? Fast forward. I end up checking out his, his podcast um and at the end of the show they they allow people to come in for comments and i was like you guys need a female point of view you know and so at yeah, you messaged me shortly after that we're like you know i actually want to do a podcast with a female uh, i like that idea this this and that you know let's talk about it right so we kind of went back and forth a little bit messaging he hadn't seen me he hadn't seen what i looked like yet um he'd only seen you've only you'd only seen a picture mm -hmm. so one day you went live the, this is, i'm gonna embarrass him a little bit i'm gonna, I'm gonna embarrass him about to exaggerate but go i ahead. am not gonna exaggerate go ahead. it's okay i'm gonna embarrass myself too no so so i go i go live with you and I cam up for the first time. <laughs> and he rose up under the chair like Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You, you did. No, but it was funny. It was actually because there was someone else in there too with us. Someone who was like, they have families on Vigo. So remember that he was in there. So it was, just, and we got to talking. And then we, when we got offline, um, he messaged me. He's like, you still trying to meet up tomorrow? <laughs> I told you I was going to embarrass him. <laughs> to discuss yeah. this podcast. To discuss. Allegedly. So. No, because when we I We met to... up. We met up at a Texas Road house. We drive to Tracy. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, she drove to Tracy. She drove most of the way. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, we met <laughs> up. Yeah, was worth it. Had lunch. Discussed. I think we talked about I think we, everything except the podcast at first, and then we got into the podcast and this and that. But, you know, it was a cool time. Had a little Texas Roadhouse, then went to the bar. You took there. me to some, some like, hillbilly bar. bar I was like, where are and we? Tracy, you know, a bunch of, you know, I ain't going to say the word. I was but, way overdressed. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, nah, it was a, you know, they have a few drinks and really get her open, really see where her mind was. That's what, you feel me? Stop it. So, he, I, this is, let's just be, keep it funky for a minute. When I, you got out of the car and walked towards me, you were popping your collar. No, you was like, this man is treating this as a date. No, and I'm like, I oh, yes, you were. No, I wasn't. I just okay. had on my jean jacket, you know, looking you good, smelling good, as a man should. Give me a hug, okay? Come on. 
was just, you know what it was? I was just on my stuff. You feel me? I was just on my swag. Exactly. That's it. That's it. That's okay. That's fine. But we hit it off really like straight away and we just sat there and talked for hours. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember that. Like, I was like, oh, wow. I, like, there was, I'm not going to say everything that was said because I will super embarrass you. <laughs> <that, but, laughs> but, but we definitely, like, were like, yeah, let's do this, 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 and that. Um, you know, that was January. So then we started the podcast in February on Vigo. That's where we first started it. Um, you know, and then we did a lot of back and forth with each other. And we, you know, a lot, a lot of road trips to the Bay, a lot of road trips to Stockton. Hung out for my birthday. Yeah, we had a, we had we a nice little To the beach, birthday. she hooked it up. What's the name of that place? Yeah, she did some type of picnic. It looked like Aladdin, uh, like a, beach, a Aladdin yeah. picnic. It was all fancy. Go on his it was nice though. Nice. But yeah, no, I, I, yeah, no, I mean, I, yeah, I definitely turned into more than a podcast, clearly. You know, was was fighting that for a long time, but um, you know, you can't fight certain things. So. Can't fight a real one. There you go. That's that's you true. Can? No, that's right. <laughs> um, no, but it, it it developed in such a inter- like an interesting like I would have never thought we would be where we're at now. So yeah, but it, I mean, because again, it started out as like, hey, let's do this podcast together, and you know. And then, then you develop feelings and all the all the things, but but it it was a long like we did the distance thing for a while, like mm. which was frustrating because we always had to plan. It was like an hour away. That was an hour. I know, but it I was mean, like I, you know we had to go around that. your work schedule. My kids get like we, but we but we made it work. We always did. We saw each other. At, I feel like we never really let a week go by. We always no, no, we did. Sometimes it was a couple rare. weeks, few weeks, depending on like you said, my schedule. I would really only come down when I had the weekend off most of the time, or I would the come and see you time. sometimes on a Monday, Tuesday. I know we would, we would, we figured it out, but yeah, now we don't have to worry about that because he works in the day, so we're good. We got, we got, we'll have to do the distance thing, which is nice. So, mm-hmm. but anyways, it's 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 been fun doing this with each other. I mean, definitely, we have our moments where we're like. We'll have a disagreement sometimes before the show starts that we put on our little happy face and like, <laughs> get through it. But, you know, we, we handle it pretty well. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I never would in a million years thought. And we always wanted to be on YouTube, too, which is kind of funny True. from the get-go. That was a, both of our goal was to, like, oh, we want to take this to YouTube. We Neither of us wanted to stay on Vigo for very long. That was just kind of a starting point mm-hmm. um, for us. But, yeah, it's... Um, it's it's been a, a roller coaster, I would say, of a ride, but it's been a, a an exciting roller coaster, not like a crazy roller coaster. <laughs> would you yeah. say the same? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, now we're trying to, you know, get this show popping. Uh, you guys know about the TikTok already, right? Yeah, we're gonna have, we have that. TikToks, and yeah, we're just trying to build and see where we can take this. And honestly, I feel like the show could be geared towards relationships eventually. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just to be honest, we could talk about whatever. We have topics. We talk about all kinds of topics. But um, yeah. I feel like a lot of people look for, like, a lot of relationship advice and things mm-hmm. of that nature. And, you know, I feel like we'll be good at offering... You know, and just being real, because ain't nobody perfect, but we at the same time, exactly, speak from own experience, yeah. own issues, sure. own problems, and, things we deal with. And yeah, and, so you know, sometimes like, I feel like it's it's weird. Like I was telling Jay the other day, I'm like, oh, now we're kind of under this microscope a little bit, you know, because we're in the public. Like we're on here as a couple, and we're we're in the public eye a little bit, and it's always feel a little weird, but. Um, I, you know, I mean, I feel like if you have a strong foundation, you know, it really, you can't shake that too much, but yeah, it is, it, it, it initially it was a little uneasy for me. Would, would you say it was for you? I don't know. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, you know, cause I'm a private person. I'm, right. I'm more, I like to keep things under wraps. Right. Uh, not a secretive. I don't mean being secret, but I, being private. Because a lot of people just like to be messy, and sure. I like to, you know, just like keep my personal work. stuff personal. But at the same time, when you're trying to build something, uh, you're trying to grow and expand, you have to be obviously vulnerable. put yourself out there. Yeah, so, 
that's what this channel is about. That's what our TikTok's about. That's why we do vlogs. That's why, you know, we do everything. So just to put ourselves out there and see what happens. You know, we have fun. We be traveling. I know. Going different places. I don't know the next spot, but yeah, that's we're going to comedy way. shows, jazz shows, all this stuff. So I feel like we have a good time and we just put that out there into the universe. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I mean, we're basically taking you along in our, we're, we're wrapping up our personal into the show, which, which that's what made me nervous, right? Because these are things we do for fun, right? And so we're like, okay, well, why don't we kind of incorporate that a little bit and see where it goes? Like, maybe we could vlog about some of the stuff we do, because... I don't know. I'm always down for an adventure. Thankfully, he is too, for the most part. Sometimes I have to like nag him a little. <laughs> but no, yeah. I mean, so that's that's the part that was kind of funky for me. I'm like, well, is anything going to be personal anymore? Maybe we don't vlog about everything we do. Like, I don't know. But yeah, you know, yeah. and we don't, we don't. But yeah, it's. Um, but you know, that's that's the whole goal. And I honestly, yeah, I agree with you. Like t turning it into kind of more of a relationship based, you know, advice show or just you know talking about things that are timely what think people are going through all those things um i mean we were talking to, i wish i had the quote in front of me what did i what did i say that quote was we could dive into that a little bit if you what want quote? your connection a friend sent me this quote your connection is the foundation of your relationship was that what it was yeah, yeah like that. that yeah and and I truly feel like there's definitely a whole lot of truth to that um, you know your connection that you have to each other is so important um, obviously trust is something that's important I don't know what if you had to say what is the most important thing in the foundation of a relationship what would you what was the first thing that comes to mind for you in a relationship mm -hmm. I would say it has to be a lot of communication, right. and a lot of um, loyalty, mm -hmm. if that's the plan, you know, because some people get together and they don't expect loyalty from each other. So it all depends on, that goes to oh, back no. to the communication. Right. I think the communication is the basis of it, uh, of what you want, you know, what you need, how you kind of whatever operate or how you want your relationship to be. I feel like, you know, you communicate that at the beginning, uh, see where it goes and go from there. But communication is big. Uh, and then, of course, trust and loyalty and I would say respect. Respect is key because I feel like when you respect somebody, mm -hmm. that's one of the, the highest forms of love, in, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I feel like that's you know those are some key blocks to it. But uh, yeah, communication. Communication would be your number one. Yeah. I mean, the reason I, I, I kind of vibe with the whole connection being important is because if you don't have a connection, none of those things are even going to matter, right? Um, you know, like, that's like... But in order to build a connection... connection true. Some, some, true. You, that's true. However, yes, you that I mean, communication is key. If you don't have communication, you're going to be lost. Um, you know, I just feel like some people connect right away. Like you feel, it's a feeling you get, right? You just know. I knew that with you right away. I I, I fought it, but <laughs> I knew. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, but yeah, no, it, trust is huge for me. Like if I can't trust you, that's hard. That's that's. I mean, when you talk about communication, that's that's where our trust falls into play with me. It's. Um, I feel like there's so many people you know today who just don't trust their partners and that is so sad to me it's like that's something that's um because once you break trust and let's be honest once you break trust it is it takes a long time to rebuild it would you say that's yeah, true? true and you know and while you're rebuilding that trust you know you're questioning things and you're like you know and then you you, you get in your head and it, and it really messes with you so i feel like that's why that's so important because if you have it, then you get to erase all of 
any questioning or you know wondering about oh what's going on with them what where they at where they you know all those things because honestly who wants to be in a relationship where you got to keep a leash on your significant other no one wants that like that's not realistic for one two um that doesn't feel good to each i mean maybe some people are okay with that but i don't i I know for a fact I would not want someone questioning me all the time, <laughs> and I know you certainly don't. So it's um, yeah, that could be that that would definitely I think ruin things honestly. So that's why trust is so important, you know. And then you just like you just don't worry, you just let people be who they are, live their lives, and you know, and trust that they're being loyal to you. So yeah, but that was such a I just love that quote. I was like, oh, that's such a nice quote. So I wanted to incorporate that into the show somehow. And since we were talking about, you know, how we started and where it's going and all those things. But, yeah, having fun with this, you know. Um, I mean, sure. we're definitely open to ideas, too, you know. So if you definitely That's have true. ideas that we should talk about or you want to hear us talk about. Yes. Drop that this was an idea. This, this how we met Genesis show was an idea. So we, we were here doing it. But, yeah, any ideas or anything, you know. You want to hear? Let us know. And honestly, like we were, we were like, not, comment, subscribe. Yes, definitely. Well. No, no, yeah, that's important. Get this course. in the algorithm. Let's right, get this for thing sure. Get a, get, follow us on TikTok. Um, yeah, no, this it's interesting because I was telling Jan like we should tell like people don't know how we met. Like they don't really know our. I mean, obviously our family and friends do, but like you know anyone else who watches the show. So that's why I was like we could, we should like come out and like really you know say how we met so yeah so and and but again you know yeah you, it, we were kind of went back and forth a little bit because here you have to be vulnerable <laughs> to do that but you know there's nothing truly wrong with being vulnerable honestly it actually is kind of refreshing and it's freeing a bit you know once you do it it's it could be scary but then you know i feel like the minute you do it, it's like there's this like feeling of ease a little bit i yeah. guess would it's you say so that <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it really didn't matter to me, I have to be honest. But you were going back and forth with it a little bit, a little oh, bit. I feel like. Uh, oh, you talk about the what? show. Oh, doing this show. Yeah. Yeah. For, I just didn't want to do it. Like I don't know. I thought I just didn't want to do it too. Too soon. Too soon, I guess. But that makes sense. I mean, it is that what it is. Sense. At this point, I'm all for it. Whatever makes the channel grow. So. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah, that, so that was pretty much the genesis, how we met, and you guys can expect pretty um, plenty of more shows and vlogs and videos. So yeah, we're trying to wrap it up. I would say just stay tuned and uh, stay tuned. Stay lit. You want to end it like that? Yeah. <laughs> you have nothing more to say. I was going to ask you a couple of questions. <laughs> oh, good. I, I was going to end it like that. Uh, okay. Well, no, I was going to say, how is it working to, how, how do you like working with me in this, with this, with all that we have? Would you say there's challenges with it sometimes or it's easy? Oh yeah, it's definitely challenges. It's always going to be challenges, like yeah. agreeing on stuff. Right. Um, and there's times we don't agree on the show. <laughs> consideration, how the other person feels all the time. So yeah, yeah. it's always going to be challenges. We make it work though. But yeah, there is, there's challenges. I was just curious what you thought about that. Okay. Yeah. You have any questions for me? No questions? No, we we'll say that for the shows. You know, <laughs> so I'm good. Right. We we'll say that for the shows. This was pretty much, we just wanted to, you know, put that out there. The genesis and how we met. More to come. More to come.